Hey, welcome to this morning's morning sprint. Starting our day off with purpose, passion, and meaning. And I was just across the street. We lived downtown and I was going to work out. And it was leg day. And leg day, if you're into working out, is typically a harder day. It's a large muscle mass. Uh, a lot of people don't do legs. They wear longer shorts, you know, and hike their sleeves up in their arm. Mm. <laughs> no, I do legs, I swear. But anyway, getting off track. And I ran into one of the people in our network, uh, in our network company, in our business development program, in Macro Millionaire. And uh, he was like, oh, front squats today. Now, front squats are notoriously really tough. They're tough logistically, um, and they're just a tough exercise. And he's like, oh, man, I did these front squats, and we were working out at around the same time. I, had, I didn't know front squats were on the workout, but I'll tell you something right now, I wasn't gonna do them. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a big fan of front squats, they're hard, that's why I'm not a fan. I'd like to say it's because of some injury, no, I'm just not a fan because they're hard. So him implanting that idea, being like, oh man, they were tough, but I got through them. Guess who did front squats that day? I did, okay? That is the power. Who are you plugging into? If he would have been like, oh man, front squats, I did leg presses instead. Guess who would have done leg presses? Me, because that's what I planned to do anyway, okay? So it is so key. So I have to ask you, who are you plugging in that doesn't take your BS, that doesn't take your phony baloney, that doesn't enable you and say, oh, that's all right, man, you'll get it tomorrow. Do those sales calls tomorrow. You deserve a beer. It's Wednesday night, but you deserve a beer at three o'clock in the afternoon. Who are you plugging into that doesn't take your BS, that's leveling you up? Yes, we've heard this a million times. Jim Rohn says we're the average of the five people. I'm gonna say, yes, we're the average, we're the product of the five people that we spend the most time with this evening. I have a small group training with our church, with small group leaders. So guess what, I'm gonna leave that with Jesus in my heart, with godly thoughts in my brain, okay? If I was just going and meeting people for, for wings and beer, nothing wrong with that, I may not be leaving with those godly thoughts. So I have to be deliberate. Hey, Wednesday night is small group night. I don't miss, I engage, I show up. So think to yourself, who in your life is making you and molding you into a better person? Who's making you do your front squats? Who's making you show up to your small group? Who's making you or encouraging you? No one can make you do anything. Who's encouraging you to do those sales calls? Who's encouraging you to be a better product of the person, of the version you are right now? Like you're the 1.0 version right now. Who's encouraging you to be the 2.0 version? Or who's encouraging you to be the 0.5 version or the 0.25 version? All right, that is, the, the, is huge and when you find that you're around people that you plug into that truly want you to do better, you will become better. You will become the product of that environment. I can't stress that enough. I'd love to hear in the comments who you're plugging into that levels you up. Tag them, thank them, give them a high five.